there's some question about how you should deal with multiple attackers. And beyond the tactics of moving and trying to get them to interfere with each other, which I think is a good, de de a good idea, um, the question comes up, how many times should you shoot at each bad guy? And th there's a lot of people that automatically fire two shots all the time. Um, you know, whether it's the IPSC crowd or the IDPA crowd um, or even the tactical crowd, they, they just get into this habit of firing two shots and then, and then servicing the next target. So I wanted to do a little time study on um, if you've got two attackers and you fire two shots on each one, how long is that second guy waiting to be addressed by you? And is it a time factor that would make a difference. You know, if it's only a couple of hundredths of a second, it probably doesn't make a difference. If it's a half a second, it probably does. Now remember, while you're addressing one target, the other guy's free to do what he wants to you. So uh, I think we need to spread our love as much as we can, as quickly as we can. And remember, there's a good chance you will be facing multiple attackers. So this is a real life situation. All right, so I'm going to turn on my timer here, and I'm going to start off by firing double taps. So I'm going to fire two on the first target, transition to the second target, fire two on him, and I'll give you the time that the first shot hit the second target. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so we hit review. The first shot was at 164. Pretty standard, nothing stellar. Second shot was at 187. So <clears throat> that's the first and second shots, 164, 187. Third shot, which is the first on the second target, is 2.32. So this guy has had two seconds, over two seconds, 2.3, without any attention from me. Let's see what happens if I fire single shots. All right, so one shot on each and then back. Um, overall time was pretty much the same. Time to the first shot, 147, a little bit better. So the first guy was hit at 147. The second guy was hit at 179, as opposed to 2.3 for the double taps. So we're looking at a full half second difference between a double tap and a single, a single shot on each. Do you think a half second is significant in the time frame of a gunfight where the whole thing may be over in two or three seconds? A half a second is a big chunk. So I think that makes sense. Now, yeah, maybe I'm not getting great shots on target number two, or even number one for that matter, but they both know that I know that they're there and I'm paying attention to them, which has got to be at least somewhat distracting. So I think that makes sense. Let's move it out to three targets and see what happens to the time. I think you'll see that when you're talking multiple targets of three or four, that the firing double taps really slows down um, how long it takes for you to address the third or fourth target. So let's take a look at that. So double taps on three different targets. Let's see how long it takes to get the first shot on the third target. All right, so First shot, 1.5, 1.5, total elapsed, 2.72. All right, so first shot was 1.5, 1.7. The first shot on the second guy was at 2, 2.2, and 2.5. So we're looking at almost a full second that this guy is not receiving any of my affection. I don't want to give him a second unattended. 
who knows what kind of mischief he can get up to in that period of time. Let's do singles and see what that looks like. All right, first shot 168, total 3.24. All right, first shot on this guy 168, 195, 2.2. So I've gotten on to the third target much faster by firing single shots than if I did doubles. So I think that's another glaring problem with double taps. I think there's a lot of reasons that I don't like double taps in general. And I think it's a training scar waiting to happen. But um, uh, I think that pretty clearly shows you time-wise that you know automatically doing double taps on multiple targets is a bad idea. Um, once again, I think there's some tactics that should be involved. I wouldn't be standing still with three guys shooting at me. I'd rather move to cover. I'd rather get them so that they're, you know, not facing me like this, but, you know, get them so that they're in a line, getting entangled with each other. Okay, so just a brief examination of double taps versus single shots on multiple attackers. I'm Peter Berlingame of the Self-Defense Initiative. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate your support. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends about us. And please be safe out there.